Hello guys and welcome to DIY Electronics. I am Azhar and this video I will show you how to build an automatic water pump controller using Arduino. So you will need Arduino Uno R3. I have attached it with the breadboard and this is the LCD screen 16 by 12 16 by 2 sorry and this is the relay module i have this two channel relay module but uh, you can also use one channel relay module i will use one relay here this relay one it is relay one and here you can see and you will also need an ultrasonic sensor and a potentiometer okay so now I'm, i'll make some connections first i'll first i'll connect the icsr04 sensor i have right here the whole icsr04 sensor i have made long wires because it is useful later okay so let's connect it it is the ground pin and this is the VCC 5 volt pin and uh, this is the eco pin here and this is the trigger pin so the ground pin is connected to the negative here right ground and this to the sorry I will connect it here so it is near the Arduino like this and the red pin uh, which is the eco uh, will be connected with the pin 9 and the trigger with the pin 8 so we have connected the ICSR04 sensor now we will connect the LCD screen the Arduino right here so I'll like this uh, the LCD pin starts from here 1 2 3 up to 16 so the first pin of the LCD is the ground pin so let's connect it to the ground there and the second pin is the 5 volt means positive what can happen here connect it with this ok and then the third pin will be connected with this potentiometer I have so this is the third pin I will connect it with the potentiometer the middle pin of the potentiometer right here and the uh, other two pins of the potentiometer will be connected with one to positive and the other to negative so like this and now the fourth pin which is the RS pin of the LCD I'll connect it with the pin 12 of the Arduino this pin 12 and the fifth pin which is the RW pin will be connected with the ground pin right here and the sixth pin which is the enable pin will be connected with the 11 pin of the Arduino right here ok and then the 7, 8, 9, 10 will be left 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this is the 11 pin which is the D4 pin will be connected with the 5 5th pin of the Arduino and after that this is the D5 pin which we connect, will be connected with the 4th pin of the Arduino and after that we have the D7 pin sorry
so this pen will be connected with the third pin of the Arduino and after that the D add pin will be connected with the second pin of the Arduino right like this and after that uh, we'll connect these are for the LED the pin 15 and 16 the 15 is positive and the 16 is negative so we'll connect it to the positive and negative like this okay so we have met the circuit now we'll connect the relay to the Arduino so this pin is the will be connected it is the I'm showing you here these are the wires but they change have changed them here's the ground pin ground n1 n2 and v, uh, vcc so ground is for negative n1 is for relay 1 and n2 is for relay 2 so we, i'm using relay 1 so i will connect the n1 to the 13 pin of the arduino and the vcc to the positive so this is the i have you here it is the wire so it changed color okay so i connect it with the pin 13 here and the this is the ground pin so it is connected with the negative ground and this is the positive which is the vcc to the 5 volt okay and now i connect uh, battery and uh, pump with the relay so i'm showing you before that we will connect the here the arduino pin 5 volt here it is it is the pin 5 volt to the positive and the there are too much wires and here is the ground pin to the negative right and now i'm connecting the relay with the motor and the battery i have this 12 volt pump and a battery to run the to run this motor okay so i have connecting i have connected the negative terminals a battery directly with the negative terminal of the motor and now i'll connect them with the relay so let's see here we have used relay one so let's open this is the positive pin of the battery so let's connect it with the common positive pin of battery will connect it to the common pin and the positive pin of motor here will be connected with the normally open pin So our circuit is complete. Now I'll upload a program to this uh, Arduino, and then I'm showing you. There is a lot of wires, so I will uh, combine these wires like this. Okay. And now I'm showing you to upload the program. But uh, I have a program downloaded from the internet, but uh, I have made some changes in that program according to my need. So I will show you to that program. I have combined all these wires. So I'm showing you now how to upload the program. So here is the program. You can see 
to run the Arduino if you want this then uh, comment and I will comment to your email and I will send it so here I'm showing you these are the connections which I have made this these are for the HCSR04 sensor and these are for the LCD here I'm showing you the distance these are the LCD print it will appear on the screen LCD here you will uh, see distance less than or equal to 5 so uh, when the HCSR04 sensor measures the distance and it is less than or equal to 5 centimeter then the pin 13 and 7 will give high voltage and the motor which is connected to the relay will turn off and tank is full will appear on the LCD and when the distance is uh, greater than or equal to 12 centimeter then the 7 pin and 13 pin will give low voltage and the motor which is connected to the relay will turn on and motor started will appear on the LCD screen you can change the distance as I'm changing it to 6 centimeter sorry 6 centimeter and this to 13 centimeter right so let's compile it is giving an error message so it is uploading and it is uploaded so now I'm testing it to you and you will see it's working I have set up all the things this is water with motor and here it is a tank the pipe comes into the tank from the motor right here and this is the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor and here it is the tap and here it is our circuit with power supply and this is a relay with battery and motor so now we'll start the circuit ok I'll turn on it and here you can see motor started the water level is 19 centimeter it is decreasing and here you can see water flow is start here the water level is decreasing the tank is filling here you can see motor started water level 8 7 and tank is full you can see the water flow stop and motor also turn off now we will empty the tank by opening the tap so the water flow from the tap start and here here the water level will increase it will take some time so when the water level reaches to 12 cm it will turn on automatically
and I have said 13 centimeters and motor started you will see the I am closing the tap and water flow started right here and the water level is again increasing and the motor is turned off because tank is full here and the water flow also stops so in this way you can make it uh, if you like this video so like it and subscribe to my channel to enjoy more videos thank you